Today's day two of working with Arrow, Kit Kat, Peaches. Still haven't decided on a name. My new unstarted two-year-old. Goals for today include catching her, um, desensitizing her to a rope, introducing her to the saddle maybe. I might work on loading and unloading in the trailer again today just to see if we can remember what we worked on yesterday. I left her in a pen off grass overnight uh, with Twix so she could get settled here in a smaller area. And once I let her out, if they cross the creek enough times, they can have access to about four different fields. So just wanted to keep her contained for a night and get her used to this place. Also, I don't bribe my horses with treats to catch them, but when I do catch her, I want her to know that I'm the one putting her out on grass um, and that her food comes through me. Well, we're not scared of water troughs or tires. She's a surprisingly quiet girl. <laughs> I started out by chasing Arrow and Twix into the round pen and roping Arrow to catch her. Once I had her on a rope, I caught Twix, haltered him and tied him up just so he was out of the way. And then I worked with Arrow on the end of the rope for a bit until I could halter her. Every time she pulled away or tried walking away, I would tighten the rope and put resistance on it. And then as soon as she stopped and faces up, I released the pressure. When she's stopped and faced up, I slowly start walking towards her and get on a shorter rope. And then once she walks away and the pressure comes back on. It didn't take too long of doing this for her to figure it out. And eventually I was able to walk up to her and put a halter on her. So yesterday was my first day working with this horse. I just picked her up yesterday and spent two hours working with her right after I got her. I'm giving her this bodybuilder supplement, uh, which I give her every day. So to do that, it's given orally through a syringe. Being a two-year-old and having not been handled a lot, getting brought in every day and giving her this every day uh, is really good practice for getting her used to being handled with it. So this is how I do it if, um, if a horse is not used to getting oral medication and uh, and you have to give them orally. So first of all, I don't hang on to the halter or lead rope at all. I don't have it tied up. Um, I don't put any resistance on the halter or lead rope because you can't out muscle a horse. Okay, so I start with my left hand over the nose and I just get him used to that. Just get him used to just petting their nose. Um, this was even an issue yesterday. She didn't really like her nose being touched. So she's come a long ways since yesterday already. And then I just stick my thumb in the corner of their mouth on this side and get her opening it. Again, yesterday she was like throwing her head back and um, trying to turn away. As soon as I did that, she did not like having my thumb in that. So that's all I do. I just touch her nose, stick my thumb in their mouth. If she holds her head there and like doesn't pull it away, I take it out, give her a pet. If she tries pulling away, you can grab on their nose bones pretty tight there and like just grip it and hang on until they just stand there quiet like that. And once they stand, you can take it out. So you do that a bunch of times till they're totally okay with doing that, opening their mouth and chewing it. I hardly have to put any pressure on her at all anymore. Like I'm just resting my hand there. She's come a long ways since yesterday already. So then after they're pretty good with that, then you get your syringe ready in your other hand. Since you're not holding onto the halter, you get you can use both hands to to work on your horse. So then you just hold it. And once they're good, you just stick the syringe in and press it. And that's all there is to it. Another thing to add is after you give it, go back to just petting their nose and sticking your thumb in their mouth, making sure that they'll still stand for that and that, that they know that not every time on the last time they're gonna get something and it'll just be totally random when something gets shoved in their mouth or not. So now that I've caught her and done a little bit of work, I'm just gonna take her out 
into the pasture with the grass, still with her halter on. And I'm just gonna sit with her for a bit, let her graze while I sit with her, get her used to me being around, get her used to having her halter on, and just getting her used to knowing that when she's caught, when she has her halter on, you know, it's not so bad. And you know, I'll give her things like grass, which she wants. I'm just gonna get her used to me being here, sitting down, getting used to different levels, standing up, walking around, being below her, you know, we're buds now, we're just getting acquainted. The nice thing about the setup that I have is I don't have 25 horses to ride a day like a lot of trainers do. I've got my two finished horses, one client horse, and now this girl. So I can spend the time just hanging out with them, um, really creating a bond with them and working on them super individually.